guys, we are live from the quarantine, and uh, this is going to be your strength workout. Um, story of the day, uh, we have been known to recycle stories at Training for Warriors, so if you've heard this before, I apologize, but, um, but this is one of my stories. It's my story. And um, this story goes that um, when I was 16, I was an exchange student, and I went to India for a year. And that was in uh, 1986. And it was a very rough year for me. And I stuck it out the entire time and, and, and uh, tried to make the best of it. And it was, it, it was, it was pretty harsh. And um, one of the things that, that happened to me when I was there is it made me, I, I, I felt very alone. And like anything that can happen to you, and as a 16-year-old, it's like, how do you protect yourself being in a foreign country with nobody, like, really looking out for you, you know, and uh, I mean, like the Rotary did, but it still was like, you know, dangerous or, you know, whatever. And um, so when I got back, I had a really hard time processing my trip to India or that year in India. And um, that, that feeling of aloneness also made me feel very vulnerable, you know, and uh, a couple of years later, after I graduated high school, I was moving from uh, Youngstown to Ohio State in Columbus, Ohio, and it's like three hours away. But I was really scared. I was so scared. And um, I went to my favorite bar, and my favorite jazz musician, Teddy Pentalis, was there. And Teddy Pentalis was like the sage of Youngstown. I mean, he just would like sit there and give you like the best advice. He was like this, this old jazz guitarist, and he was super, super cool. And I was like, oh, Teddy, I'm so scared about moving to Columbus. And he's like, you went to India. You can handle this. And I never even thought about that, that as an accomplishment. It felt like such a defeat because I felt so, so vulnerable and so scared. And I was like, I was like absolutely. Like, and I feel like we, we all get those times in our life where we're, we're faced with something really scary or, or some form of change. And if we just look back at something that we've done that we've been proud of, you know, that helps reinvigorate us and get that, that courage as opposed to just falling into that stress hole, but really trying to lift ourselves up out of it, you know. And uh, that's, been, that's been going through my head like all day today is, is Teddy and, and him going like, you can, you can do this, you can make it, you did that thing, now you can get through anything. And, and so that's, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now, guys. So anyway, story of the day. Um, we're gonna do jumping jacks though now because it's hot. All right, I'm gonna count the first five. You're gonna count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last shot. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right, guys, let's grab water. Let's just keep keep grabbing water just to make sure we There was a vote for seven way hips. We will not be doing seven way hips. <laughs> Win for Ricardo. Actually, guys, that was the workout. Good job. And <laughs> it feels like it though, doesn't it? It's like 90 jumping jacks in 86 degree heat. Make, you know, you feel it, right? All right, let's get on the floor. You got mats, let's use them. 
right. Cossack stretch. Woo, going forward and back. Forward and back. Just getting that leg right out from the side. Rocking forward. Oh, man. Jennifer, you were very lyrical in your counting today. You're very lyrical in your oh, count. Yeah. Yes. Really finishing strong. <laughs> Jennifer's finishing strong. I love it. Guys, we're going to do five leg lifts. Ah. I know. It feels like it weighs a thousand pounds. Ah. If anyone ever watches these recordings on YouTube, they're going to be like, who is Jennifer? <laughs> and why is, why is Jennifer such a troublemaker? <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> I love it. All right, then we're doing leg lifts. Woo! Uh, guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna be kneeling. So if you want to, you can always double up your mat, like Ricardo. Let's all be like Ricardo. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be just like Ricardo. So then I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna reach out of my shoulders. Then I'm gonna come down to my hips. I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades together at the back and then up to my ears. So this is such a really like targeted movement, right? In those shoulder blades. It's funny to try to figure out how to get those guys to move. But we're reaching forward, down, bringing them together at the back and then up. So give me five. Circles that way, and then I want you to give me five the other way. That, it helps when you make those faces. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell you're working hard, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into our pigeon stretch next. So what that is, I'm in this high plank. I'm gonna bring my knee in between my hands, and then I'm gonna keep this back leg straight if I possibly can, so keep it off the ground. If you can't keep it off the ground, that's fine. You can put your knee down. But what I want you to do is bring this hip into that foot. So other way, Aaron. Yeah, do you feel that stretch more that way? Yeah, nice. So Jennifer, you're gonna do that stretch. Grab your thigh and pull it towards you. If I can. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Yeah. So guys, give me some. Uh -huh. Yeah, your back leg is, is active, but this leg, this leg is not. But I want you to kind of lean into that foot other way. There, 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 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, guys, let's come back up. Bringing that knee in between your hands, getting that nice stretch in your wrists and that back leg, and then rotating those hips down into that foot. Woo! Breathing into it. I keep yelling at people to relax their faces and I'm not relaxing my face. I'm like, Rrr. oh boy. All right. Let's get a little bit more with that groin. Coming into the frog stretch. <laughs> Have you tried this? I'm going to do this instead. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. We call this the frog completion. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to push our butts back into our heels, and then I want to squeeze the earth together with my, with my knees for five, four, three, two, one, rock it forward, then bring it back, squeeze the earth for five, four, three, two, one, rock it forward one more time, relaxing, pushing back. For five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Let's go ahead, since we're already on the ground, let's do our side lying archers. You got this. <laughs> and then you're going to straighten your legs, and then you're going to raise your. No. All right, guys, so hands are together, knees are one on top of each other, and then I'm dragging that hand across my body and looking out over that shoulder and then coming back in. All right, give me five. This way.
exhaling as you bring that arm straight. All right, let's take it the other way. <laughs> do you call that the crowd pleaser or is that what it's called? We used to do that stretch of rugby and call it the crowd pleaser. Oh my God, that is so funny. All right, yeah. other side. <sighs> Making sure to keep those knees stacked. Dragging that arm. Five. <laughs> All right, guys, we're sitting. We're pushing back onto our heels. We're gonna take our right hand, put it through, get that shoulder to the ground if possible, and then I want you to rotate out. Come back through, rotate out. Give me five times on that side. Bye, Bye Josh. Bye. Five, nice. Other side. Right. Oh. All right. Now we're going to stand it up. Next, I'm going to widen out those feet. I want to come into my deep, deep squat. So deeper than I would normally have you go, I want you to sit into it, rotate, rotate, elongate those legs, chin to chest. Come back down, give me five of those. Feeling that stretch in those hamstrings? Woo! Woo. Right, it's a thing. Yeah, you feeling it, Cassandra? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, it's a blur. It's a blur. Oh, it was the RDLs. Yeah. Ha ha ha. That's a thing. All right. Let's grab our bands. Because everybody loves a good band warm up. Grab some water if you want some. Don't break yourself before. <laughs> we still have insurance. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do over and over and over and overs. So 10 of those. I want you to get close to your head with that band so your arms are coming out straight. Juliana, does your place have air conditioning? Yeah? yeah. So, so the dogs are cool. Oh. Yeah, totally. Ah. All right, guys. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be overhead, just coming to the tops of your shoulders and then back up. Tops of shoulders and back up. So I'm not sticking my rib cage out. I'm keeping my rib cage tucked. Nice. Ten of those. And everybody's favorite, the pull apart. Oh my God. So I told the other classes not to tell you, but I messed up that workout on Monday a little bit with the pull aparts. It was supposed to be 30 seconds, not 30 pull aparts. Although Joe Brookins tried 30 and he made it to 35 seconds. So it was kind of the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> Wonder why, my bad, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm so, that was super high. At home, like wait, like, wait, in here or at home or? 
Oh, and here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Taking the whole hour. Yeah. Of just like body work and, and, and just some some resistance, you know. I mean we actually we have a lot of resistance, but you you guys are absolutely right. It's like when we're deadlifting you got a, you get a lot of rest going on and uh, doing our RDLs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Right, or you know, or making fun of Josh that takes up another twenty minutes. Yeah. So you know, yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot that was going on before. Then guys, we're gonna do our bent rows. Woo! All right, and then upright rows. It's these, these bands though, guys. I mean, of any of the things that you take with you, do these, do these like little workout snacks with these bands. I mean, it's so good, you know? Ugh. You should create a new workout routine called Bands. Bootsy's Bands. I like it. <laughs> well, it's funny because it's like, I'm going to be entering the, the workforce again and I'm going to have to go back to my original name, <laughs> which is going to be weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny because like my friend, like my my friends that knew me before Bootsy refused to call me Bootsy. Oh. It's really yeah. It's so it's so funny. <laughs> right, I'd probably be the only Bootsy there, which is great, you know. Um, Bootsy came about from. Uh, I'll, how about if I tell you at the end of class? Okay. That'll be the wrap up. That sounds great. I think you should legally change your name to Bootsy. And then your last name to Bootsy. <laughs> Bootsy. Bootsy. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. Again, we're not going to do a warm up set. We're just going to do the three sets because it's so friggin' hot in here. I don't know. It feels the same to me. 96, 86. Is there a difference? I don't know. Math? Who can tell? All right. So I'm going to just have the timer ah, going so that in between your sets, you're getting a minute of rest. Make sure we get that rest. It's hot in here. We're already really warmed up. So let's go ahead and do this first set together. We're going to be doing our split squats. So I'm just going to actually grab my lighter weight, but you can grab your heavier weight, whatever you want, or no weight at all. You can also have just, just body weight. So what I'm going to do is make sure that that toe is up in the back. That toe stays up in the back the entire time. I'm gonna come down to about an inch off the ground and then all the way back up again, all right? Coming down and then all the way back up. So we're not doing a partial split squat with this one. We're locking out that leg each time and we're doing 12. Yes. <laughs> See, I'm looking, I'm looking. Make, I'm protecting you guys this time. <laughs> I don't know if you're feeling that in your butt, but oh, I am. All right, going to the other side. Again, that back foot stays elevated the entire time, about an inch off the ground with that knee. And we call these 90-90s also, because we're trying to get both legs to be in a 90 degree angle. That's the distance from that front toe to that, from that back toe to that front heel. Yeah, that's how that works. All right, my, my ankle just rolled a little bit, so I'm really going to think about that, putting that weight in that big toe in the front. Then you're going to grab your two lighter weights. You're going to go back into that original leg. So give your other leg a rest. And then we're coming down, and you're two in 10 lat raises. Whew. 
What? Wow. Yeah, that's a thing. Feeling alive, switching it out. Coming back down. 10 lat raises. 30 seconds of lat raises. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I want a minute of rest. That's what I want. Oh my goodness. That was intense. Ha! Ha! You got this. Is that weight okay, Ricardo? Uh, what do you got? There's a set of eights. There's also a set of fives. You want a set of fives? I'll do eight. Okay. Woo! Yeah, so if you have all, um, variations of weights at home and the weights that you just picked didn't work, grab other ones. That's fine. We got about 20 more seconds and then we're going back into it. Again, if you're gassed, take more rest. That's fine. All right. Otherwise, we're going to be going back in. Gosh, split squats. Who came up with that? Who did it? <laughs> There's something. Man. All right. This is our second set. Again, that back toe stays up the entire time. And I want to stay in my lats, guys. I want to really keep those lats activated. Think about that. Yeah, good point. Jennifer just brought up a good point instead of just being a smarty butt. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer just brought up a good point. That's when you activate those lats, it also helps you keep your chest more upright. What? Ah. All right. I'm only doing as many as you guys because I'm not counting very well. So I'm like, when are we stopping? 12 on each side, guys. Then really lock it out. Locking out that front leg, locking out that back leg. Think about putting that weight in that big toe so that you're not twisting that ankle out to the side. All right, yay. Going back to the original side. Woo! 10 lateral raises. My arms are slightly bent. My arms are also slightly forward, so they're more in my periphery. Woo! Yeah! Ha ha ha! All right, getting back into it. But you, that is a burner! Wow! Huh. I get to about six on my second side. And it's not my arms, it's my legs. Whoa! Yeah. All right, we got about a minute of rest. What's the bell for? PR. When you, when you get, hit a personal record. You get to ring it if you've beaten one of your past records. So, yeah. I never got to ring it. Aw, you can ring it after class today. You did really good. You did, you did great as a captain on your team. You can ring it for that. Whew. All right, guys. We've got about 10 seconds left. Whew. Is that right? Was that? This is our third set and our last set. Yes, yes, no, no. Am I counting right? Is that, is, was that a minute or did I count too short? Okay, probably. I think that was like five seconds. I think, Ricardo's. <laughs> Jennifer just keeps distracting me so I have no idea what, what, what time it is. Or, is it already eight o'clock? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, last set. Yeah, it is. 
<laughs> you make good TV. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> they found you. We're looking for this ex rugby player, Jennifer, and uh, <laughs> whoops, they fall over. Uh, <sighs> having a hard time keeping that toe down on this side. If the weight that you have is too heavy, you can also do lateral raises with just your arms. Body, body weight lateral raises are fine. They are absolutely fine to do. You still get a lot out of them. 10 of these. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I have a tiger. We got this. We got this. <sighs> oh, man. Thank God for three sets. Jeez. There you go. There you go. Nice, Ricardo. Great, guys. All right. I need to take a quickie break and just grab some water. I'm already out. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's so crazy. Well, Josh and I were just walking around right before class, just taking a break walking around. I had my mask on. I couldn't breathe. Outside, it was just like, like it's, di it's like if I didn't see anybody, I was like, yeah. All right. So guys, next, we have our, for our B circuit, we have our dumbbell high pull, we have our dumbbell squat ISO hold with overhead press, yay, more ISO, and then our kneeling dumbbell curls. So you guys, you guys keep resting while I demo this. Again, we're only doing three sets, we're not gonna do four. So my dumbbell high pull, what I'm doing is I'm in my RDL, I'm coming up, locking out those legs, and coming up onto my toes, all right? So really think about coming up onto that big toe, which is gonna help you keep from rolling those ankles out. But make sure when you set up, you're in that full RDL. So you're really, really pulling that butt to that back wall and then locking out those legs as I fall forward. Um, and then you have your dumbbell squat to ISO overhead press. Now you might wanna grab your lower weights for this one, but you're in your dumbbell, you're in your squat, and then you're just doing your overhead press. If your two weights are too heavy or your lighter weights aren't working, go ahead and just use the one weight. That's totally fine. And then you're going into your kneeling dumbbell curls. You can either do your dumbbell curls the regular way or you can do neutral grip. Personally, I like neutral grip just because it's easier on my elbows. But when you're in this position, I want you to make sure you're really locking out those glutes. You're really feeling the tension in the ground with your knees. That's gonna help get that strength all the way up through your body with that, all right? You might wanna double up your mat for your kneeling, for your kneeling uh, curls. Woo! We are doing 12 high pulls, 12 of our ISO overhead press, and 12 curls. Yeah, make it easy. Woo! All right. Starting with my high pulls. Make sure you get that slow setup with that RDL and then boom, you're really coming up. Five, six, seven, All right, 
Oh, and then I have my ISO hold squat with overhead press, getting those elbows on the insides of those knees. I haven't lost my squat. My squat is still active. Then I'm going into my kneeling curls. Woo! Squeeze in those glutes, bringing those hips forward. We're not rocking this. The what? Woo! All right, minute of rest. Thank goodness. Woo! Feeling good, Caleb? Yeah. <laughs> Are we happy with our weight choices? Yeah? <laughs> Why do I fear if you juggle them, you're going to hit yourself in the head or something like that? It's just, it's just not going to go well. <laughs> and Ricardo's like, please don't hit me in the head. <laughs> Yet. Yet. So I have half an hour. Well, and then Jennifer was coming to the uh, Friday morning class or, or so. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be like, <laughs> seven. Yeah, it's a thing. And it's still better than the 6 a.m. class tomorrow morning. So, all right, guys. High poles, RDLs, upright rows. <laughs> oh, that's my, that, my, the Tabata on Friday is going to be epic. It's going to be all of my favorite favorite exercises. So it's going to be a Tabata of seven-way hips. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> In training for warriors fashion, I should do a 12 warrior days, but we just did that on Monday, so. And People get so confused by the 12 warrior days. It doesn't matter how many years they've been here. <laughs> Six, seven, Good. I love hearing that breathing, Ricardo. Good job. Woo! All right. 12 curls. Trying to get that body feeling really strong through that pillar. So from my knees to my lats, everything's on. Ah. One of my favorite things, we got a minute of rest. One of my favorite things in here and I have never, ever done this. I don't know if you guys have ever done this. But listening to Josh work out, and he's like, come on, Josh. Come on. You got this, Josh. And I have never, ever been able to, like, cheer myself on in, in calling myself by name, you know? It cracks me up every single time he does it. Oh, my God. Thank you for it at home. Yeah. Come on, Josh, get those dishes washed. Come on, you got this. <laughs> What's that? He is trying to find the warrior within Caleb. I'm, I'm amazed that you're defending him. <laughs> he picks on you a lot. <laughs> yeah. The, the Schwarzenegger version. Yeah. yeah. It's than Bio. Oh, it's better than Biodome. <laughs> oh my God. All right, guys. Last set. Last set. Right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Well, ah, that last.
that last one was poopy. I'm going to do one more. Blah! All right. Then my squat to so hold overhead press. It's so funny, I keep forgetting. I want to, I want to forget what's next. <laughs> Dumbbell curl party, get those, get those guns, get those gains. What? It's so funny, the difference between 10 and 12 feels like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> at least for me all right we're gonna get some rest then we're gonna be doing our tendon work tendon work I got an appointment to go get my training for Warriors tattoo cover up <laughs> you gotta go right now uh, uh, I'm so sorry that sucks <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god. So Jennifer got last set, best set tattooed right across her butt on each cheek. Believe it. It's real. She just showed us it happened. Um, well, it was funny because in last night's class, I was telling them about my personal air conditioning that I use in here, which I take an Otter Pop and I stick it in my butt crack and I just walk around with it, and it's, it's like a really good place for it, you know? So Sarah, who's a nanny, was telling her little boys about that, and they thought that was the funniest thing, and they were like, did you take a picture? And she was like, no, and they were like, take a picture. <laughs> I, I keep recycling it, like, so I'm never gonna eat it. I mean, it's been hanging out in my crack, come on. <laughs> we have a lot. <laughs> no, nobody is going to accidentally eat my butt pop. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Ricardo's like, challenge accepted. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So hopefully you've doubled up your mat quite a bit. We have our tendon work. Now, I think I got really... Um, uh, cocky the last time we did this and I thought oh I can do 16 I made it to 12 and I was like oh my god so try to keep your numbers manageable you're either doing sets of 20 sets of 40 or sets of 60 anybody who does a set of 60 you get five otter pops I don't know I mean it's just <laughs> all right so starting with our elbows in elbows come out two now again I want you to keep that rib cage tucked in don't extend that rib cage out and give me a full extension with those arms as it rips your arm hair out. I'm gonna do it instead of 20. That was, that was a uh, cray. A 21, <laughs> good job. All right, guys, minute of rest, minute of rest. I don't know why, but I'm very sore today. In your, just my whole body. Your whole body. Did you sleep good last night? I just workout was hard on Monday because how hot it was. Did you eat yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when I usually ask people, did they eat? And they're like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, no. <laughs> did I? All right. Minute of rest. Minute of rest. Okay. Ten hundred pops. pops. Oh, my God. Woo. That's a good place to put it because there's already insulation back there. So it's not like sticking on the back of your neck or something, right? You know, it's good. I should, uh, I should patent that. Butt pops. Right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they 
<laughs> you think so? <laughs> free to complain as much as I want. <laughs> oh my God. How many more classes? There's tonight, there's tomorrow morning, there's tomorrow evening, and then Friday morning, and then just one semi-private in there. Yeah, five. <laughs> All right. So, guys, let me start that clock again. I felt for you the other day. I forgot that you had the class after. Uh huh. I'm like, oh my god, she's like roller chicken two times. <laughs> well, the thing is, we tape this one, so that's why I'm doing the workout with you guys. Uh, for the 6 p.m., I'm not doing the workout. It's just, it's too much. Yeah. So I'll demo, but, but I'm still doing like the jumping jacks. I'm still doing the, yeah. you know. But there were times like when, uh, when it was just Josh and I. And maybe like he went on vacation or whatever. We had five classes a day and I was still teaching like all five classes, you know. So. What? What? Wow, yeah, that one just officially kicked my butt. Oh my God. I have no ego with this one. No, I am not even trying to get over 20. Just trying to get 220. All right, guys. Let's get our hodgepodge of stuff out of the way. So when we're doing our homework, we're not Jennifer, I really appreciate that you're trying for the class. You're trying to save the class. I get it. I get it. Oh, man. Get my stuff out of the way. All right. Ha! Ah, let's get a little bit more rest. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, so you'll need your mats for the knee grabs if you want mats for the knee grabs. Wow, really feeling that in my triceps right now. Wow, just spaghetti arms. Ooh, my goodness. Crazy. What was that? <laughs> I know. I know exactly. Exactly. Actually, guys, before we do our homework, let's sit on the ground for a second. <laughs> And let's just do some hip mobility stuff. I promise no seven to eight hips, but we want to do some, let's do some shin boxes. Let's just do five on each side. If you want to raise your hands up, great, but keep that back straight. So you might want to put your hands behind you and go ahead, give me five on each side. Give me dead bugs. Give me dead bugs. <laughs> You're just going to make a face no matter what I say. Uh, five on each side. There we go. Nice. Oh, cramp. We got a cramp. <laughs> All right, guys. Now let's lay on our backs, and we're just gonna do some. We're just gonna do some glute bridges. So we're gonna do ten glute bridges. All right. So I want to bring my hips up as high as I can. I want to squeeze my glutes. I'm gonna come back down. Bring my glutes up as high as I can. Come back down. Take it slow. Get that lower back to touch the ground as you do this. All right. The next
next version we're going to do is our knees are together, my feet are out, okay? Knees together, feet out, give me 10 more glute bridges. You might notice that you have less range of motion with this one. Nine and ten, and then we're just going to do one more variation. So I'm going to put the I'm going to put the soles of my feet. I almost said the palms of my feet. The soles of my feet together, and I'm just going to let my hips, my knees drop out naturally. I'm not going to push down on them. I'm going to bring my hips up and down, up and down. Now, everybody's physiology is different, especially with these glute bridges. So everybody's going to feel them in a different way. You might feel one of these versions is, is it just feels better for you than another. Ten. Nice. That was a gift to us from the butt doctor, Dr. Brett Contreras. Really like his stuff. Um, he's a he's a cool person to follow on Instagram. He does a lot. He pretty much does all bikini models, sculpts their butts, their legs, you know, whatever. But um, he has a lot of really really great glute exercises. All right, guys. So there we go. All right, we are going to do our homework. Our homework. So let's start with our 20 seconds of knee grabs. You'll have 10 seconds to transition. Then you're gonna do either 20 seconds of push-ups or 20 seconds of archer planks. For my archer planks, I wanna make sure that my feet are wide as I bring that arm up alongside that body. And then you're gonna do 20, 20 seconds of mountain climbers, either cross body or regular, all right? All right, let's start with our knee grabs. We're starting in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Transitioning, 10 seconds to transition. I'm not gonna do the, the push-ups, I'm gonna do archer planks instead. And we're going. Good substitute, Ricardo. Ricardo's doing a strict plank. All right. Now going into 20 seconds of mountain climbers. And we're going. I like doing cross body. Feels better on my hips. Trying to keep those shoulders over those wrists. thing. You did the thing. All right. So, guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about facing fear with the courage that we already know that we have inside based off of something else that we've done in our lives. To cheer ourselves on, right? You got this, Josh. You got this. You got this, Bootsy. You got this, guys. You got this, Warriors. Anyway, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. If you want to, he, he did the same exact thing that you did. He was just like, I fucking hate seven way hips. <laughs> it was, uh, 